Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading. There's like in between Aquarius and here where I started tuning into your energy, like this chaos ensued. I went to take the last drink of my cacao and it spilled like big time. Not one drop on the like beige carpet, not one drop on the deck. There was a little puddle right here but most of it was on my light blue jeans, right? Then uh, I sat down and the camera was all wonky. And then, uh, which is actually my phone. That's, <laughs> I do it all on my phone. And then, um, like I sat down again and I realized I didn't have my water because I had, you know, taken the cow cup and I washed my jeans a little bit and I put my Invisalign back in and I'm like, Dear Lord, hopefully this is my chaos and not yours, but if you are suddenly like going, man, did I have a chaotic day, please post it down below so I know that it was just my tuning into your energy, okay? So let's see what is going on here. For those of you that are new, welcome. I am an energy channel. I am like a little hidden bit of joy, okay? A little hidden bit of mystic here in the, the YouTube centric universe. Um, I am glad you are here, but as with any reading that you ever get on YouTube, roles can be reversed. It could be, you know, the third party storyline. Time is fluid. It could be something that's already happened to you or something that's coming in the future. Just take what resonates for you, leave the rest behind. Uh, for those of you joining, thank you. I appreciate you so much. You're why I continue to do this. Um, just know that at the end, I am going to do a soul reading this week over on Patreon. Patreon, I run differently than a lot of readers that have Patreon or that have like membership programs here on YouTube. And that's the reason why I haven't done a membership program here, okay, um, is because the donation program on Patreon you can choose what you can pay based on what you can pay. Sometimes you may only be able to pay that one dollar, that one pound, right? You may not be able to pay very much. And I want you to have access, but you know, for somebody that does have a little more, they can give a little more. And that evens out that energy exchange, okay? So that link is down below. So let's see what is going on here, okay? Collectively, you are creating something very spiritual for this summer, okay? For some of you, it does, oh, look what was hiding back there. It does have to do with getting out of your comfort zone, okay? Uh, maybe taking a vacation to somewhere that you never thought you would go. Um, but it's overcoming a big fear, okay? Now, you're having to be very patient with yourself and your cycles right now, uh, especially perhaps rebirthing your own inner child, reparenting yourself, or dealing with a child that is about to give birth, or helping out a child, right, that has a child. But this leap of faith that you're taking, they're showing me that this was, I'm seeing this now as in, they had me lay out the cards so that it was like a, upside down triangle. Okay, I was gonna call the pyramid. Um, maybe you're going to see the pyramids. But there's an energy here that you spoke this into being in the past by being present in a moment of manifestation. And it is about to come into creation. Okay, so when whatever this is comes into creation, like don't don't poo-poo on it, Spirit says, okay? Accept that you created this and that it is for you. So we're going to look today at the original spread. We're getting an overview. What's still impacting you from the past? current energies, thank you, and future possibilities, thank you. Okay, underlying, yeah, uh, there could be something that comes in very, very quickly, 
uh, this opportunity could come in from a friend okay something that rushes in uh, and you have to like hurry like I have to hurry and get my passport and my visa and everything else like it's like a rush of things that's going on for whatever you're dealing with take care of yourself okay because um, you could get under the weather by overdoing Okay, the overview here is the Eight of Swords crossed by the Lovers, right? Love is not for me. I can't see love. I can't see myself being loved. I can't accept loving myself. Like there's a lot of different ways that that's showing through to me, but it is a mirrored energy which can be completely within ourselves where there's this feeling of trying not to tap into those emotions because there's so much of you that just has pushed love aside, okay? Now, what's still impacting you from the past with all of this is that you didn't really learn the lesson of emotions that spirit was going for. And instead, you kind of just looked at these lessons and it was like, oh, yeah, that's true. Must be true. Right? It's kind of like where, um, I hate to say this, but when my niece and nephews were little, we did eat a lot of fast food. Okay? Because, um, like, I would get home from, you know, my little nighttime job or I would get them done with their homework and like I was tired and overwhelmed and in my own bad karmic situation. And it was just much easier just to go drive through McDonald's and just feed the McDonald's some nights. And I think a lot of us, you know, we do the easy route sometimes. And it doesn't have to be McDonald's. It can be that you, um, you know, repeat patterns. But what they're showing me here is that um, there's an energy that Spirit was trying to teach you something. So you might go through the drive through and you get home and you're missing like two french fries. And you have to drive all the way back and come back home. And it didn't save you any time in the long run. But the next time you're tired, you do the exact same thing. And you get home and there's a burger missing and you have to go back. Right? Like, and this happens again and again, this pattern. And for whatever reason, the only message you're getting is, gosh, I'm tired. And Spirit's like, that's not the message at all. That's not what we're trying to teach you. But it's still resonating somewhere within you. Okay. And so the current energy here is the Five of Swords, right? Like something's broken, but you're so unwilling to let go of this old truth and you see how it all got dark there for a minute the sun went away um you're not accepting of this but the future possibilities the magician it's like i think you're finally gonna get it it's almost like an aha moment like ah right don't we all love it when we get those moments where we're just like Dang, why didn't I see this like 10 years ago, right? Of course, it could be like half an hour ago, but <laughs> usually for me, it's like a million years ago, okay? Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords, yeah. You are just like, nope, I'm completely bound here. I, I can't get loose. It doesn't matter that there are all these swords sitting around here that I could easily just cut these ropes free with but no i'm i'm just stuck here waiting for whatever curtain call is going to come the lovers mm -hmm. death love is not for me mm -hmm. i let go of that it's a trick love is a trick cross by the three of wands in reverse okay you no longer expect love and yet you're still holding on to that wand there's a reason why okay five of wands in reverse <laughs> there's 
there was a huge tower that should have been an aha for you. And spirit was like, here, take some love. Even if it was self-love. Acknowledge yourself. Recognize yourself. See how capable you are. And yet all you saw was the tower. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. This truth comes from what you were taught, right? Like you thought you climbed out of this, but it still resonates in your frequency. You haven't quite gotten rid of it. Five of Swords. Okay. Nine of Cups in the Sun. Okay. Again, I feel like underlying all of this. <laughs> hey! He's really angry. There's birds that built a nest and are uh, brooding on my front door. And it's really bothering him. <laughs> but there's this part of you that maybe fantasizes about love. Feels it in your frequency. But two of wands here, there's so, there's so much brokenness that you keep stopping yourself at the old pattern when there's this other path fully open for you. The Magician, Wheel of Fortune, Alchemized. Alchemized energy, okay? Eight of Cups, finally walking away from the past. It could be for some of you that um, a new job, a windfall, something happens that uh, takes you out of your comfort zone, takes you to a new job, takes you to this new, you know, this travel, right? Takes you somewhere where you recognize, why did I take this one with me, right? Because underneath this, I knew that I had the power within me all the time. Nine of Swords. There's an energy of understanding that you have had that empty space for so long that you just took it as being what was, what was yours. Yeah, that's your Five of Swords this empty space that you allow to tie you up, to keep you sad, to keep you from living your best life. But look at that. That's all about to change, Spirit says, right? Tell me about this Eight of Swords, Spirit. The Hierophant and the Moon. Yeah, something is coming, something very big, something very meaningful. But you're still deeply in these buried emotions. And so you're not seeing it, right? Death crossed by that three of wands in reverse. Thank you. Yeah, the ten of cups. Okay, once you get through this, this has not been a healthy time for you be it emotionally, be it physically, once you get through this, suddenly you start looking towards the future. You start realizing what you want in your future and what you're not willing to stay bound to, okay? The tower that should have shifted you here in the past. Okay, the six of swords. There was a time where you had to do it all by yourself and it was a big transition. And that was supposed to be where you recognized that you were worthy of something more. Yeah, okay. And you did start to dream and you did start to have expectations, but you never climbed into that higher heart chakra. Ten of Pentacles. Thank you. Yeah. Because again, something told you at some point in your life that we don't accept love. We are unlovable. 
And that's what Spirit's trying to alchemize here. Nine of Cups and the Sun. Okay, again, taking on this truth, looking at it from the top of the mountain and realizing that you can now see both sides of the mountain. Okay, that you can look to the past and see what bullshit it was. You can look to the future and see the hopes that are available for you. Okay, Two of Wands. Okay, again, that Knight of Swords. You do get pulled back, but there's a little bit of hope here in judgment, in releasing some of that. Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords here. Yeah, Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Taking a hard look, right? Why don't I have everything I want, right? Why don't I have the manifestations that I want? Why is it being withheld from me and realizing that it all comes from here? The abundance, the love, it all has to come from here. If you have blockages, if you have obstacles, it's an obstacle to all of that space, okay? And you start to alchemize. Wheel of Fortune, there finally the death and rebirth, okay? Eight of Cups, walking away from that old mindset. Three of Swords in reverse, starting to put your heart back together, realizing how it held you in place. What is this lesson here, this hair font energy? You're waking up, Empress. Okay, you're waking up to this rebirth. Again, it could be a new job. It's just Eight of Pentacles. It is a new mindset, okay? What does the universe have to say here? Oof, right after that. Okay, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We cannot turn this alone. The solar eclipse is going to do a lot of the work here. Yeah. Seven of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Again, I feel like you're going to realize that the obstacle was old, no need to be refilled, and that that unblocking opens you up fully to this windfall coming in, this Ten of Pentacles coming in, this healthy energy coming in, right? And there's the Ten of Cups too. Okay, beautiful, beautiful energy. Spirit's like, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, there's the real truth, okay? You're worthy of all of this, okay? Let's grab an oracle. Yeah, you're moving into the sacred pool of emotions that you've tried to keep yourself out of, and it's going to be like coming out from underneath that moon right into this space where you thought that it was darkness but it's actually light okay it's very beautiful beautiful energy there let's see what your <laughs> and i just saw a crow literally run across my yard like he's out there standing on the yard like he like pays the bills He's out there like he just pays the bills. He's looking for something. He saw something he's going after. <laughs> I, I don't often see crows just run across my yard, right? Like hysterical. Like to see this like little person sort of thing just run across your yard like, oh, 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 right? Like that's a good sign. Your higher self is like, oh. I'm looking at this, okay? So what does your soul want you to work on here? And then I'm gonna pull into Patreon and go take a look deeper at that, your advice here. Okay, yeah, all right, this is a brand new beginning, Princess of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like you're gonna look at it kind of like, really? <laughs> Are you sure? But this is where your strength comes from, okay? Uh, you definitely could have uh, some Venus energy sitting in your um, 
right? In your seventh house here, aligning you to this transition. And it is going to be an emotional transition, okay? Where some of this makes you feel like you're, there's some unknowns here, but you're strong enough to take this on. Yeah. Okay, and what's being held waiting here at the other side of this, when you take this leap of faith, there's the fool, right? The emperor and the empress, okay? One is being held back, one is being awakened. Very beautiful energy, okay? So I hope this helps you. Don't forget to click on that thumbs up. Uh, it helps the video, it helps the channel, it helps others find the message, okay? Uh, much love, you guys. I hope to see you over on Patreon. If not, check me out on IG at Mindset Unicorn or over on TikTok at Mindset Unicorn. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.